Good morning. I'm Gordy Locke, uh, speaking to you live from South Harbor Creek United Methodist Church. Thanks for joining along, those that are live uh, with me now and those that are going to watch later on. Thanks for for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, it is July 13th, um, Tuesday, and Sunday was a great day of worship, fellowship, and learning more about God through the Bible, getting closer, understanding God and understanding his word. Pastor Keith shared about Noah, one of the giants of faith. Um, if you remember, uh, Pastor Keith has and his wife were in, uh, they went up to Mount Rushmore and it really impressed him with the different images he's seen. He saw and just how they, um, who they represented in our history and just the impact that they've had. And Noah, wow, what a great impact he's had down through the generations. Um, Noah was a very righteous man uh, to build the ark and save the remnant of people and animals that God had chosen to save. Noah possessed three things that God was looking for to carry out this great mission. Uh, Number one was Noah was right with God and walked with God. That was important to God, that he had a man that was um, communicating with him and getting to know him and knowing he he had a good relationship with God. Noah obeyed God and followed God. Not only did he spend time um, walking with God, but he also obeyed him in his walk with God. And he followed God where God led him. And that was important because uh, the ridicule, uh, things he had to live through while he was building the ark. I couldn't even imagine what he had to go through. But he he was diligent. He stayed the course. He followed God throughout all this building process. Noah thanked God. He offered gifts to God and he worshiped God. Those are three things God is looking for in us. Um, to follow or to, to walk with him. First of all, just walk with him. A daily walk. I think about walking with different people in my life, life, my children, um, friends, uh, how meaningful it's been, just walking side by side, talking, opening up. Um, God wants to speak to us through his word, um, through in prayer, and while we're doing our devotions, even now, God wants to speak to us, myself. <laughs> God wants to speak to me, and it's interesting as... Um, I've prepared different things in my lifetime, uh, worked with Royal Rangers, Sunday School, youth, different groups I've been involved in. As I prepare for them, I get closer to God because I learn more and I grow in his word. So it's important that we walk with God and obey him and follow him. Um, through all those things you've taught, you, we've heard about footprints in the sand where um, there's two sets of footprints in the sand, and um, someone asked, well, where did the other, you know, there's only one set of fo- footprints. Does, did God leave us? No, God did not leave us. God picked us up and carried us. There's times in our lives where God just wants to carry us through those hard times. And Noah also thanked God. He offered gifts to God, and he worshipped him. Uh, back then, there was an altar, and they offered animal sacrifices many times to God in, um, in worship and in obedience to him. Now, uh, we can offer a sacrifice of praise when things aren't going our way. I, my good friend Dave Taylor out in Colorado at different times in our lives, let's just praise him. Things aren't going our way, let's just praise God regardless. Not necessarily for what we're going through, but in what we're going through. And God will honor that. God will honor our praises. And God wants to hear our praises. We have so much to be thankful for. I'm very thankful for to God. Uh, in these three things that God found Noah faithful, um, God blessed him and his family. Um, Noah is a great example, just like so many in the Bible, of, of following their example. Because Noah was faithful. God was faithful back to him. He saved his family, um, and he saved all those different animals that he put on board. 
Our work today builds our art for tomorrow. That's something Pastor Keith shared with us. The work we do today for him, for the kingdom of God, for God, um, will build our art for tomorrow. I thought that was pretty neat, what Keith shared with us. God wants to do something different in our lives like never before. Just like in Noah's life and his family's life. Never before. This this ark was fascinating. When I see it, I, I almost got there this last weekend. I was close to the ark. I wasn't able to get there down in Kentucky. But God wants to do something new in our lives. And he wants to do something new in you. He wants to do something new in me. What a What a great challenge to us and that's a challenge that um, Keith left with us that are we willing to do the work that is set before us that we may might be a light in an otherwise dark world are willing are we willing to do the work Noah was God called him to do it and he did it that was a huge work that took many years some say as many as a hundred years to build that ark are we willing to do the work so that we can be a light? God wants to do something new. And that, that's the title of this uh, devotional is Something New in You. Um, daily devotions have, for the last several years, have been a very uh, instrumental to me in getting closer to God. I do a couple of different ones. I do uh, Oswald Chambers, My Utmost for His Highest. I do another devotional, men's devotional on Proverbs. Um, there's one, Sarah Young, I do um, that one, and uh, Jesus Calling. And I, I found this in, in um, Sarah Young's Jesus Calling just recently. I found some, some things in the devotional that were meaningful to me. Hopefully they're meaningful to you. God wants to do something new in our lives. A new bubbling joy that spills over into other lives. You can't mistake this joy as your own and take credit in any way. Watch what great joy as the Holy Spirit flows through us to bless others. Let yourself become a reservoir of the Spirit's fruit. I thought that was pretty neat. How the joy of the Lord bubbles over in our lives, in other people's lives. Lord, help me to be that person. Do something new in me. Help other people see the joy of the Lord in me. Not me, not anything I can do or say, but the joy of the Lord. I was speaking to someone recently, um, a high school uh, friend of a friend, and I recognized a, a family that the people in this family, it was just something unmistakable about them. In high school, I, I noticed this, and it I, at first, I guess I thought it was maybe their personality, but thinking back, and I, I shared this with this person, one of the, the members in the family, there's several in that family, that I saw the joy of the Lord in their lives, and it bubbled over. They, it wasn't something they were putting on or happy for the moment, but just the joy of the Lord. I want to be that person that has the joy of the Lord. Laughter is a great medicine. Joy is a wonderful contagious thing there's so much negativity in this world help us to have the joy of the lord help us to have something new in us and lord help us to be that person uh, galatians 5 22 says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness and i always think of the first three the love the joy and the peace. People are seeing that in us. And if we don't have that, what kind of light are we? Help us to be like you, Jesus. Help us, help people be drawn to us like they were drawn to you with the joy of the Lord. Your part is to live close to God, just as the giants of faith. Open to all that God is doing in you. We can't try to control or resist the Holy Spirit wants to do in our lives. We need to continue to focus on what God is leading us to do in our lives as we pray, as we do devotionals, and as we read the Bible. There are so many great examples, like Noah in the Bible, that we can learn from. 
I think it's really neat. Pastor's going to share more of these coming weeks. Pastor Keith, about different giants of the faith. I'm really looking forward to it. He's liking to get to the uh, Mount Rushmore. Um, these are giants of the faith, and I, I think it's really neat. He's been given different um, men and women of the God of God in the Bible, and and more contemporary here, um, maybe in the last hundred years or so. Uh, men and women of the faith, giants of the faith. Um, Ephesians 4, 22 through 24. We were taught with regard to our former life to put off our old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to may, be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. God's called us to put off our old corrupt ways and our deceitful desires. He wants us to put on that new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. We serve, we love, and he loves us back, a good, kind, loving Heavenly Father. Help us to have the joy of the Lord, not to be put on, but something that's coming from our heart, coming out of us. Something that God's put in us, so it overflows, it bubbles out. I thought that was pretty neat what Sarah Young wrote about how our, the joy of the Lord bubbles out. Um, help us to be those kind of Christians today, not to moping around, woe is me, but to have the joy of the Lord. And let that be known of us, the joy of the Lord, not Gordy's happy or Susie's happy or whatever, but that they have the joy of the Lord. There's something different. They have the joy of the Lord. What a wonderful thing that we can be known for, having the joy of the Lord. We have a lot of, well, let's pray. Lord, I just thank you for your word, the promises in your word. Lord, the commandments in your word. Help us to be doers of the word and not just hearers only. Lord, help us to have the joy of the Lord. Do something new in us, something new that, we've never experienced before. Maybe it's the joy of the Lord. Maybe it's just um, speaking your word and being, having a word for those around us and being light and salt to whoever we come in contact with. Pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I want a few announcements I'm going to make. This Friday, the men from the church called the Band of Brothers are going to go to a Seawolves game. So if you'd like to come along, please come to the church at 6. You don't have to be a member of this church. Just come along. Love to have you. Um, VBS is next week. Really looking forward to that. I haven't been involved in VBS in many years. I have many fond memories of it. So put that on your calendar. Bring your kids out, your grandkids. We're having VBS. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Rocky Mountain. Well, it's Rocky, (laughs) the train engine. And I can relate to that. I worked on a railroad for five years. So um, I'm going to be a part of it. And... I believe we're still looking for help, so if you want to help along with that, that'd be awesome. Uh, camp Finley, we're going to have a, a weekend uh, camp, and it's going to be a family camp. The youth are going to be there. I'm, I'm going to be up there. My, my children are coming, hopefully all of them, three from Colorado and one from Oklahoma City. Uh, we're going to spend some time up there also, so uh, please come out to Camp Finley, join with us. And we have a seniors group, and once again, I had a little pushback for that name, seniors. Some people don't want to be called seniors. We're getting that going, um, 55 and up. If you'd like to be a part of that, that would be great. A uh, lot of really neat things going on here. Uh, small groups, Wednesday nights, we're going to fire that up again in the fall. A uh, lot of really good um, good things happening here at South Harbor Creek United Methodist Church. And we want you to join along and be part of us. If you don't have a family church or a home church, uh, please join us. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us Monday through Friday. This devotional, I think, is, it's helped me. I, I was watching this before I came back here to Pennsylvania, so it's been a blessing to me. And I'm just thankful that you're with us, and you just have a blessed day and a blessed week. I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs>